as his voice is soothing, like leaves rustling in the wind. He's the only one who understands, the only one who cares. He made me see what I was lacking, what I must do. But what he's asking, am I strong enough? Of course I am. That's the coward Victor talking again. Enough talk. Ugly human words hurt my throat. I can barely get them out anymore. It's time to act. I like these names on here. So he's completely losing his mind, basically, and he's... he's talks about evil human words interesting how everything here seems like polish and stuff but then there's like all the posters are all english things i like the names by the way peter kashing and kevin say no more straight up fake 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 ass names but like extra fake one of them is just like uh, highlighting that it's them just cashing in olivia weed might be olivia wilde or something Wait, Olivia Weed as Michael Fisher? Oh, music by Michael Fisher. Never mind, that's a different, different thing. Clifford Stark with like a misspelled Clifford. Anthony Bopkins. <laughs> Tony Fake. Come out and say it, huh? And in a way, is it Michael Fisher, not Michael Fisher? But even Fisher is like a form of scam. So like every name almost seems to suggest some level half the name suggests some kind of fakery the curse of the wolf man an evil as old as hell unholy wolf man leroy smith isaac smith wait how jk smith jordan my money nicholas brave nate something i can't read really a lot of these people are just named Smith in this family, or directing, whatever. Splicers. Haven't we invented enough ways to screw ourselves up? The two people with replaced body parts. One, one with a knife thumb. A wolf hand, apparently. December 15th. Splicers unite. Long live the new flesh. December 15th in the mitochondrion bar. Does this guy sleep anywhere in here? Or is it the other place for his hideout? His VR sim, I'm a wolf person now thing. No. Oh god. No. This be happening. It's not fucking happening. Dad? What the hell? Dad? Are you there? What kind of a sick game is this? Dad, I'm still alive. The head. Don't connect to it. Adam? Adam, are you there? I need your help. There's a place. It's called Sanctuary. Adam. Adam. Just try to... Try to call me back. God damn it. There's a place called Sanctuary, apparently. Find Sanctuary. The person claiming to be Adam mentioned a place called Sanctuary. If there's a chance he is there, I need to find it. Or optional. Connect to the... Commence neural interrogation. I don't know what to believe anymore. The voice claiming to be Adam warned me not to plug into the head. But can I afford not to? I mean, it's a good question. How well is uh, faking voices done in this universe, exactly? Am I connecting to the head might totally kill me. It might, it might be a trap, or it might just be something where, like, connecting to the head 
will drive me over the edge or something because I'm already like in a huge mess right now. So I can go either way, either trust the voice or go with the head, which might disprove the voice in some way. And I don't think we have evidence to go either way, do we? I think it's just a, a guess. So I'll try guessing this way. Well, I'd be a little concerned about how I could possibly not... How do I possibly, like, trust the idea that something not that's not my son's head is my son? Like, isn't that clearly his head? The only way that it... Uh, uh, sound effect. Assuming they don't perfectly replicate somebody's head somehow. The only way for him to not be in that thing is for him to somehow, like, escape his body, like, download his his mind or something. But then at that point, that's not him anymore. Because at that point, you, you would just be a copy of a person. Here we go again, huh? We're doing this again? The same monster. The monster's not... I think one of the reasons why the... Put with the sound effects. I feel like one of the reasons the monster's not super impactful is because he has nothing to do with what's going on as far as I can tell. Or if there is a connection, it's not really drawn explicitly. Game's just like, ooh, there's a monster. What is it? Uh, -huh. is it real? Uh. -huh. Hi there. What do you do? Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Blah. Oh, is he gone? Okay. What did I just do? Did I do good? Blah. That wasn't very nice. That's one of the ways to really startle somebody is just to put- make them be in the middle of a task and then hit them with a thing. I think that's why sometimes YouTubers are extra startled by stuff is because they're in the middle of the task of doing commentary at most times. <laughs> Which makes things- the interruption scare very easy. Where go? How does my character know where he's going right now, anyway? That's not a good sound. That's not a good sound at all. Sounds a lot like the guy that supposedly died. Ah, uh, vegan in London. <laughs> Who's wasting all this power with all these lights? Who's doing this? You're wasting all of our electricity. What, they solve infinite electricity in the future and that's like the one good thing that happened? Is that we have infinite power? Hey, Sanctuary. Sup? If I had just had, like, someone contact me about Sanctuary, I wouldn't have had to go through any of the stuff I went through the last few hours. That would have been nice if our son could just do that, or whoever's claiming to be our son. Is that like the- Oh hey, this opens. Oh hey! 
Jacked ink. It's right there. I'm back. I'm back in the original sandbox. Can I go inside? Oh, neat. So if I had missed a computer, I probably could have come back and got one still. I was worried those were going to be a point of no return because I had dropped off ledges and whatnot. So now this gate opens. Vroom vroom. Ah! Oh, it, uh... The, that one's locked open. That's how doors work. Uh, I will point out this is a rare case of a video game that doesn't have double-hinged doors. In real life, there's, like, never double-hinged doors ever. But in video games, double-hinged doors are, like, every door. <laughs> doors always open in both directions, usually. I think it's pretty much horror games are, like, the one time that not that doesn't happen. They're, like, the one genre where door mechanics are actually a thing that matters. All I had to do this whole time was go next door. That was the secret all along. Rafal blah 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 blah. Or leaky. These have to be the staff. Oh yeah, we already know these are the staff members of the game because one of them was Rutger Hauer. So it's all the people that it's probably all the people that worked on the game. Which would make this game probably Polish, because a lot of games were if I can't understand how to say the names, but they're using Arabic letters. Or they're not are those called Arabic letters or just Arabic numbers? Whatever. If they're using our the same letter system we have, but they're uh but I can't understand how to pronounce them, then then they're probably specifically Polish. Like Witcher and Metro. Oh, oh no, double hinge doors. Right when I talked about it. <laughs> Hello, double hinge doors. How do you work? Nobody knows. You don't even have hinges. <laughs> Magic. This is like the one location that might have double hinge doors though, because it looks like a high traffic location. But of course it would happen the moment I commented on it. Is it like a railing? It is. To be clear, I don't assume that everybody that's not American or British is Polish. I'm just like, it's just that I can actually read most, uh, West European names. It's the East European names where I'm like, I can't even guess. <laughs> Hello. Anyone home? Is there a ghost in this shell? Get it? It's a double joke, because it's also like, this is a, a church-looking location, so like, the Holy Ghost, but also like, we're talking about cybernetic people and stuff. Yeah. Ah! Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Sanctuary Salon. Please state your full name. This is a salon? What is this place? Sanctuary Salon. Established 2074. The salon offers top quality virtual reality experiences. Expertly crafted to meet our customers' needs. Sanctuary. Your safe refuge in an unsafe world. What do you need my name for? Customer name is needed in order to confirm a reservation. Daniel Lazarski. Identity confirmed. Subscription status active. Thank you, Mr. Lazarski. Your capsule is ready. Okay, this is starting to really feel like a trap. This is starting to feel a lot like a trap. Yep. Let's look around a little more.
can't really read the details on these things. So many glowing keyboards and no mouse. I mean, they don't really have mouse prompts, I guess. Why does this dude have a throne? That's, I think that's part of the whole cyberpunk aesthetic at times, is no mouse. Everything is always command prompt stuff. This was definitely a church before it became a VR parlor. They didn't even repaint, they just kept it as is. I think the screaming mouths really sell the aesthetic and make sure that I feel comfortable about this whole thing. <laughs> what the hell? What is up with the sheer number of television screens throughout this game that just have a body part? Like, th at least those were dream seg segments, th those weird, like, grimace faces and screaming and stuff, but, like, we had multiple times where, like, this is mouth, and then we also had, like, the eyeball rolling around. I'm like, why is this being filmed and also shown all day, forever? So much power is being wasted. Hello. Am I gonna die in this thing? Because I feel like I'm gonna die in this thing. Oh, this is a bad idea. How do you guys feel about enclosed spaces? What the hell? Oh, there's- oh, that looks- that looks important. The big one. Whoa! There's a visual. This is like some Tree of Life stuff. We're on- we're on like a- a lake of gold? Walking up to a cable tree? Hey, it's Hank Green. <clears throat> yes. I know it's hard to believe after all you've seen, but I need you to trust me on this. We don't have much time. What about the body I found? <sighs> it's it's complicated. What you found wasn't me. Not anymore. But I'm here right now, and I need your help. If you're my son, prove it. How would I do that? Just try Tell me something only we would know. No, not to. What? When I was a child, you know, would sometimes wake me up before dawn. We'd go down to the river and watch the sunrise together. Hoping for that smog to clear just enough that we could see the mountains. And it never happened. Of course. But we kept trying, didn't we? I know you were working for Chiron. How are they involved in all this? In all the wrong ways. I have to admit, you were right about the corporation. At the end of the day, all that matters to them is the bottom line. I still don't see how the splicer fits into all this. He doesn't. That's why we didn't see him coming. He was an unforeseen factor. A convenient tool. What were you working on? Imagine if all your thoughts, your memories, everything that defines you could be transferred into a digital realm. To exist long past your physical body. Beyond limitations. Beyond sickness and death. Beyond being human. Just to keep existing. Sounds like a living nightmare. You haven't changed, have you? I knew you wouldn't understand. But you will. Soon. I promise. Helena saved your research. And smuggled it out of Cairo. <sighs> yeah. So we got her killed. Yes. And Amir too. It wasn't a part of the plan, but I had to. The project was too important, Dad. What about the surgeon? What was his angle? Yeah, Jack. He admired what I was trying to accomplish. 
Actually, I think he wanted to be me. When did you become this digital ghost? When the splicer came for me, I had to improvise. I managed to get out before it was too late, hoping they couldn't follow me into the web. But they could. They came after me with a virus. A hunter-killer algorithm. It's eating through my defenses. If they break down, I'll be gone for good. How can we stop it? We can't. I tried masking my signature, but it was too late. If I could bust out of the building's internal network, I might be able to outrun it. So we need to lift the damn lockdown. The source of the signal is well protected. It's like the mother of all firewalls. Which gives us only one option. A manual override. That's where you come in. Where does the signal come from? I couldn't pinpoint the exact location, but I've narrowed it down. It seems to have originated in the adjoining building. The high rise? Yeah. I think it's the epicenter of all this madness. The signal appears to be coming from the upper levels. And Dad? Watch your step. Chiron still has control over that place. And you. Not anymore. Yeah, that's what you think. The more you struggle, the harder they try and get into your head. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Darkest before dawn. Which reminds me, once you get out, follow the light. Well now, that proved to be surprisingly brief. But da 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 Free. That looks different. Is it just brighter in here now? It must just be brighter in here, right? Yeah. Because this look, I, I think it was all laid out this way still. So I get the feeling that the head might have been a trap, and if I jacked into it, it might have downloaded a virus into me that would have infected my son and uh, attacked him when I went to him, using me as a vector. That may have been a, one plan at mind. They took the head for a reason. Why did the paint suddenly go from white to red? That's weird. How does that even work? Okay, follow the light. Once you get out, follow the light. So I came from here. Light's over here. Ah. All of my special things don't work. All of them are broken. And he said, follow the light. Can I touch something here? I walk into the wall? Like, is it a hologram? No. Ron is still here. I can't touch anything here. Okay, so disregarding the whole follow the light clue, let's see if there's any other doors or anything nearby. There's a whole side area over here. I can't interact with the door at all, there's no lock on. Ooh. There's a staircase over here.
It gave me a prompt for a second there, and then it went away, I think. Ah. That's a trip. <laughs> oh, there's one. Dominica. Stala. Oh. Hi. How do you do? Okay, that's a cool trick to do with stained glass. I mean, now you're just using Nazi symbology to free the Chiron Corporation. That's- that feels like a little bit of a cheap shot. Okay. He's not very talkative this time. Looks like an airlock or an elevator. He said to follow the light. Who would build a place that looks like this? Especially when the last room looks so clean. This one looks like such a weird nightmare again. The fact that none of my powers work makes me think that this isn't real. And I'm in a and I'm in a simulation again. Wow, that's not a good sign. It really is the fucking phage. Okay, you've been exposed anyway. Keep it together. So that's the phage. That's why his face looks like that. Can't go in there at all. Okay, so this is a real lockdown for a real phage. And we're probably already infected and there's nothing we can do about it and everyone's gonna die. Hooray! Happy times for everybody. Remove your implants. Digital decay. That's talking about the phage probably and that might, e that might even be a weird meta message to me. Saying that I need to remove it. Someone out there, help me, please. Is that a person? What's going on here? Why are you people in capsules? They've locked us in. Those bastards. We're not even sick. Let us out. How do I open the capsules? I think there's a control room nearby. Just follow the light. I'll do what I can. If you can't help me, please. My son is still out there. His father, he's gone insane, delirious. I'm afraid he might do something to our boy. You can't let that happen. If I can find him, I'll get him out. Thank you. You've always been such a good boy. What did you say? Yep, things have gotten weird. This is probably not real, whatever's happening here. Not only does the geometry of this place, like, make no sense... It's actually, like, being back in Interstellar or something. But, like, oh, she's gone. There's disappearing people, her clothes were somehow rippling in the wind, despite being stuck in a weird micro-capsule that's so small that a person probably couldn't even fit in there. Though, as easily as she was. But also, doors are opening on the command of things that people say. 